Good day, everybody. Hope everybody's well and ready for another one of my pouring or rather resin um, expressive creations. And I just got inspired by, or actually rather reminded by one of the uh, ladies in my Facebook group who did a flower using a, um, um, a swipe technique or a more like a drag a drag technique and uh, it just reminded me of um, the couple of pieces that I did when I painted um, a, a butterfly and I really wanted to do a dragonfly so I'm going to be using uh, the same techniques that I've used quite a while ago when I did my butterfly videos and if you would like to see them I will put I will pin the link to the video at the end of this video um, so that you can see and hopefully this will turn out the way I want it to turn out but as you know things change so I'm using artisu pigments in here and I've got I'll tell you the colors I've got a snow white a bronze rhodolite uh, some bright gold royal purple and aquamarine okay so I was going to do um, a, a negative space with the royal purple which is the same as uh, with when I did my butterfly painting but I've put so much of the purple in it that it, it just looks black <laughs> because it's um, it's quite an opaque color so I've only got a little bit here but if it turns out dark then that's fine so I'm not using a lot I, there's literally not even a drop of pigment in here because I've only got a tiny little bit of resin it's a small piece I'm doing it on a small piece first to practice and uh, just to perfect it and then I can always um, do a larger piece and change things and you know do things a bit better it's all about improving learning okay so this is my snow white all mixed up and I've got my rotolite which is a beautiful pink metallic there's a lot of metallics in here one two three I've got four metallics and two epoxies non-metallic pigments so okay so I've only got a tiny little bit here and here's my royal purple so I've still got some more of this resin I've only got 60 milliliters for this little piece I'm going to try and contain it up here and I leveled my surface really really well I'm just going to stand up because I work best when I stand up so we're going to have a negative space I just want to kind of draw out how I want to, to have my dragonfly maybe going like this I'm just doing a, a quick drawing just so I can see where I'm going to be going one there one here and then the other piece there okay so let's go that's going to be covered it's just a little guide for me and I will be using my hand because I work fastest when I use my hands so let's see how this turns out eh? should be good I'm double gloved because the this blue one is a multi-sensitive one I react to latex so and that powder that they put in gloves and um, this just helps and it's easier to take them off you know when I need to change 
So I'm thinking I may need to go over because that white is really showing. So we'll see how I go. So I'll, I'll speed this bit up. This is pretty boring, just doing this. I mean, it's cool for me because I love the movement of paint. Any kind of paint, especially resin under my fingertips. So it's really cool, relaxing and enjoyable for me. But it might be a bit boring for you, so I will speed it up for you. Okay, so now that that's all covered, I'm just going to give it a quick torch, just to pop the bubbles. Now that that's done, now comes the fun part, which I have not worked out yet. But I think I want that to start to set a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some more of this purple just on the sides and let that settle a little bit in the middle Okay, here comes the fun part. Alrighty. Let's see how we go. Might start with the white actually. Just going to do a little drip. Now, this is going to be pretty tricky, and I've got to be careful that I don't mess it up. Uh, it would be perfect if I had some syringes, but I don't. So, let's see. Let's make a line first. Just want to do a little, I'll do it with a white and then I can always fix it up. One there and just bring it down. Make sure these dots look pretty good. They will move though. Some smaller, some bigger. bigger. It's really nerve-wracking this. <laughs> Maybe a couple more little ones if I can do it. Oh no. Okay. I need a tiny little one here. Alrighty. That's looking good. Actually, I might just continue with the white. Let's do a, a dot there and a dot there. Okay, I'm gonna do another little one just here. Oh, that one just happened all by itself. There, there, and 
そしてMaybe now I'll go with the red or white on top there. There, got my lovely gold. So the way I'm going, I could leave the this as a actual design, but I was meaning to do something else, so. I will continue and see how I go with it. Because that to me starting to already look like a bit of a dragonfly. It's going to go a little bit more in there. It's um, it's a very delicate job. This. <laughs> Oops, some of them are bigger, some smaller. But that's how it goes. Put a little bit of this. Just gonna make it a little bit bigger because it's gonna stretch it a bit, which I don't mind. So, so some of them are a bit smaller, so I might stretch them a little bit, like this one here, needs to be a bit bigger, that one there, but I've got to be careful not to totally destroy the design. Okay, well that's looking pretty good. Let's continue with this. Are you still with me? I'm just checking. I don't know what it looks like up there, but it looks pretty cool down here. Okay, I'm going to go with a little bit more of this pinky colour, which is a rotolite. Just a little bit there, a little bit here. And I'm going to continue with some more of this uh, bronze. No, sorry. Yep, bronze. Make that one a little bit bigger.
<clears throat> okay. Quite like the blue. The aquamarine metallic. So I'm just going to go in there with that one. And some more down here. This is so relaxing. And I'm quite pleased at the moment because it's not really moving a lot. Which is usually my problem. And yeah, you do have to have a bit of a steady hand with this one. Okay. Maybe one more down there. This actually looks pretty cool, just like that. A little drop there. Gonna have to torch it a little bit from the height. I don't know, I think I'm just going to keep layering. Might go with the white. This is all chain, I don't know how I got five there and I've got four on this side. Very strange. Maybe because I had it um, further apart, so I got. Oh, been a bit shaky now. Okay, well, that's looking pretty good. So I will definitely take some screenshots of this, but I will do what I said I was going to do, and that is do my drag technique. Oh, not it's not my drag technique; it's just a technique. And then fiddle some more with these edges, and I will do another one on a with a, a white background. Just to see, you know, the difference between the two. And some of you are going to scream at me and say, just leave it, leave it, leave it. But I won't. But you can do it. You've seen how it's done now, so you can do it quite happily. I'm going to use one of these Japanese calligraphy brushes. But I'm just worried about the hairs. So, oh gosh, let's see. Okay. All right, here we go. Here I go.
Okay, whoa, that's not bad. <laughs> that body is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But I like that. I think that is pretty cool. And I don't really want to mess with it too much. Um, I could drag this across there. But I won't, you know. And it's not like me to stop. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit more gold in the center. Just to make that pop a little bit. And yeah, I, I quite like that. I think that's looking pretty cool. So all I'm going to do now is just going to make some more of this um, purple. Royal purple. Mix some more and, and just do the edges because I quite like that as is and what I might do is just for a bit of fun just do some swirls just with the clear because the clear will go drop straight in the middle and I'll, I'll test it out here and see what it looks like and if it's no good oh that's pretty cool and do a few swirlies just to make it interesting that was a drop wasn't meant to be Uh, just shows a bit of play play time while the dragonfly is flying around so that's that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave it at this and hopefully it will stay like this and all I'm gonna do now is just go about the edge and fix that so we don't get those white canvas showing and then I will come back and do another video of the same or similar on with the white background. Okay, so I'm actually quite pleased with that. Yay, I did a dragonfly and it didn't turn into a butterfly. It just turned into a really big, big dragonfly with a big body and smaller wings. But it's so, you know, delicate. Okay, I will show you the I'll show you the close up of it and when it dries up so you can see, you know, if it's changed or moved or anything. Um so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Press that subscribe button or like if you like it. And if you don't, then you don't. Um I will see you again in another video. Bye bye. Here it is. I am very, very happy with it. just want to show you the beautiful um, finish on there. And now it's still not set, but it stopped moving now. I just want to show you this detail. How easy was it to achieve that without a lot of uh, messing around? So the body has sort of moved a bit so i've learned something from this but i don't mind it it's a chubby dragonfly nothing wrong with that and he's got one wing bigger and one longer and it's all abstract and i'm quite pleased with that i love my little dragonfly